Christmas, everybody. This is the time of year where we celebrate how a really old guy with personality disorder 2010 years ago had sex with a virgin, not necessarily with her entire consent, had a child with her, fathered a son, which was indeed himself, and the sperm was also himself, so... Yeah, you know, sometimes I wish that Yahweh would have written more sci-fi because he had some really far-out ideas. Anyway, even us atheists have some traditions, some of us. Myself, I like to watch A Christmas Carol. Yes, Charles Dickens' heartwarming tale of an old guy who gets bullied by a ghost and three spirits, basically threatening to kill him whilst delivering character development into, you know, being a nicer person around Christmas. And Dickens was nice enough to end the story before Scrooge gets dragged off to the insane asylum, where he probably spent the rest of his not very many days, because he gets kind of manic and psycho at the very end. Really, really creepy. Also, God blesses everyone. Anyway, I like to try to compare the different versions because this story has been adapted for the screen many times. I haven't watched all of them because life is a little too short for that, but I do have some standout ones and I'm not going to be counting the more the ones that take a lot of liberties. You know, Carol's Christmas, although I'm not sure that one is particularly well known. It's a little fun, but anyway, not for this video. And I'm not going to be touching the Jim Carrey version. I already did a review on that, and... Well, to briefly summarize, this story is not that visual, and that adaptation is very visual. It wasn't necessary. It's really too bad because Kerry does well at all of the roles he takes on it, in it, around it, under it. Anyway, my personal favorite of all time would have to be the Alistair Sim version. This is from, I think, the 50s. Alistair Sim epitomizes Ebenezer Scrooge. He is just absolutely perfect as this old, bitter guy who just can't stand all this cheer and happiness ish so when you see the transformation it really has an impact and he really manages to utterly pwn playing a nice old guy as well then there is of course the version with George C. Scott. I've only watched this once. I haven't watched that many movies with George C. Scott, but honestly, I just couldn't quite buy him as Scrooge. I kept expecting him to be funny or more serious than this story really lends itself to Scrooge being. He is kind of a character, you know. I also think that there was maybe a little bit too much of an 80s touch to the music. That's always unfortunate when the decade it's made in really leaves its mark on the movie. Because it's maybe not so much a timeless story, but it's certainly not a story of the 1980s. And then there is the version that my favorite networks seem to really prefer showing these days which is the 1999 Patrick Stewart version. This one is interesting because unlike the other two, Stewart doesn't have the sideburns, the mutton chops. That's different. I guess it's because he doesn't have any hair. I'm not entirely sure Stewart ever did because I don't believe I've ever seen him have hair. Anyway, instead they just have him to have a little bit of five o'clock shadow, and that's kind of white, gray-ish. He is 
a relatively good screwed. I mean, you can't completely forget the whole, you know, Kevin Picard thing. That's at least a little difficult for most people, myself included, even though I didn't watch Next Gen until fairly recently. But anyway, his portrayal is, of course, helped by the fact that he is British, which Scrooge should be. I don't remember if Alistair Sim was, rest in peace. I think George C. Scott is American. The Patrick Stewart version does have a really good Fezziwig, you know, the guy who employed Scrooge when he was a young man. And he's, you know, when we see him, he's not so much a boss as the guy who rings in you know, the cheer. He dances around and sings and I don't know the guy's name, but he's really good. I know him from other stuff also. In general, he's really good at being, you know, big and loud and boisterous and making you like him. I would also say the drama is just really genuine in the film. It's been way too long since I watched the Alistair Sim version. I haven't really been able to find it, but the 1999 with Patrick Stewart certainly does the job. Anyway, I suppose that's it, and happy holidays, whatever you celebrate or don't celebrate, whatever you believe or don't believe. Yeah.